Now the process to jailbreak, which is really just unlocking your Fire Stick, is very straightforward, takes a couple of minutes, and it really will allow you to get the most from your device. Now the entire process can be broken down into three steps. The first one is to enable an option which allows us to install third-party applications, and that really is the entire unlocking piece. The second step is to install a custom application store and through this application store you can then find all of the applications all of the content you're interested in and the last step which is optional but really i do recommend it is to change a few settings on your device just to ensure that there's no tracking no monitoring and no data logging so step number one press the home key or from the home screen go over to find click on search and here you want to type in the word downloader. Type that in, and it's a second option here. And this is a simple application, which is a built-in browser, and through this browser, you can then install whichever application that you like. So let's click on that, and this will download the application directly onto your device. And before we open this application, let's now go back to home. Let's press the right on the remote a few times, to go over to the settings cog wheel, let's click on that, scroll down and where it says MiFi TV, let's click on that. And you want to go to the developer options, let's click on that. And where it says install unknown apps, as you can imagine, by default this is disabled, which means you can only install applications from the official Amazon App Store. But in our example, because we want to unlock our device, and install applications from wherever we like. We're going to click on this, and where it says Downloader, we're going to turn this option on. So let's click on that. That's now all done, and you've now unlocked your Fire Stick. Let's now press the Home key. Let's now open up this application. Let's click on Allow. Click on OK. And we can now type in a special code, which will take you directly to my website, to a page which has all of the information that you need, and a direct link to this special application store. So let's click in this box and type in the code, which is 816729 and click on go. And this page will be always up to date. So whether you're watching this video now in February 2022 or sometime in the future, I'll always ensure that this page is kept up to date. So if something changes or if there's better applications or different options available, I'll keep this updated for you. And here we can just see once again that jailbreak, which is really a term for Apple devices, but in the Android world or the Fire Stick world, it just means that you're unlocking your Fire Stick. Let's scroll down. Here we have the step-by-step -step instructions, how to enable those unknown sources. Keep going down and we're looking for a single link to this ultimate application store. So let's click on that. And this application store has been updated with the best applications for 2022. So you can scroll down and click on this green download button. Let's click on that. And this will download the application directly onto your device. And once you see this, you can now click on install. Give that a second. You can now click on done. We can now press the home key. Now, before we open up this special application store, we once again need to give permissions to this store so we can install applications through that. So once again, as we did before, go over to your settings, go over to MiFi TV, click on that. Again, click on developer options, click on the install unknown apps. And this time you're looking for this application here. And again, you wanna click on that to turn that on. We can now press the home key. We can now go over to our application list, which is the last box here. Go to the bottom of this list by pressing left. And this is the new application store. Although we can't see the icon, when I click on that, we know this is the correct application. And this is basically a large repository of applications, your entertainment applications, your streaming applications, all of those can be accessed through this single application. We just need to click on allow. Now we don't need to click on enter code. We can go down and click on trending codes and this will show you the popular codes which will again have all of your favorite applications. Let's click on that. We can now go to the first one, Android applications, because that's what we're interested in. Now, as you can imagine, my audience is from all over the world 
and each country does have different laws for streaming content, for downloading contents. So I'm not going to go in details with the applications in this store, but trust me when I say whatever kind of content you're looking for, you'll definitely find the applications in this store. But just for demonstration, let's say I'm looking for this malware bytes, which is a great malware and antivirus scanner. I can click on that, click on the green download button, and that begins the download of the application onto my device. Similarly, let's say I want to install this uh, mouse toggle. Let's go down. Again, click on the green download button. And that also gets added to the download queue. So once you've clicked on your favorite applications, click on the download button, then press back on the remote. And here we can see now if I go to downloads, I should see those two applications downloading directly onto my device. And we can see in a couple of seconds, they're now downloaded. So for example, I'm going to install the mouse toggle. I can go onto that, click on that, click on the green download button, click on install, and that will allow me to install the application directly onto my device. So you can follow the same procedure for those other applications in that same store, and you really will find the best streaming applications in that store, which will give you access to that content that you're looking for. Okay, so now that you've done all of that, that last final step, just to ensure that Amazon can't monitor your device, there's no data monitoring, data logging, so to fix that, just press the home button on your device, go over to settings, go over to preferences, click on that, click on the privacy settings, and we can see by default, your device usage data is being collected. So I'm gonna select that and say, turn off. Again, app usage data is being collected. I wanna click on that and select turn off. I'm not interested in any interest-based adverts. I'm gonna click on that. Also select turn off, press back, go to data monitoring, double check, make sure that is set to off, press back. Now if you go to featured content, this is personal preference, but if you don't want those large video ads to play on the home screen, as they really do slow down your device, I'd like to turn both these off as well press back. And again, this will just ensure that Amazon can't monitor your device, monitor your applications, and it will also help out with performance. And if you want to take it to the next level and just ensure maximum privacy and ensure that your ISP can't see what you're doing, especially if you are using certain applications from that store, then I would recommend using a VPN and I will leave a link in the video description and the pinned comment for the VPN that I'm currently using. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I really do think this process is very easy to follow. You don't need to pay anybody else or buy these pre-configured, pre-loaded sticks. You can do this yourself, only install the applications that you want and really just get the most from your device. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe, hit the notification bell with all notifications and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.